designed by the late Gilbert Baker. Every time he cried, his mind behind his banner, around the law. An annual part of our history at the New York City Pride March. And check out the 50th balloon arches right here, number 50. These six arches are made up of nearly 2,000 balloons. Amazing, like, like it, it was so close to Columbus, so we were like, we have to come. Our friends live here, so it is awesome to be here and like seeing what the people before us like fought for so long, and to be here today and like watching like four million people here in the city is like amazing.
feel a lot of pride being in front of Stonewall and knowing how much change has happened, but then you also realize that today still in much of this country you can get married to a person of the same sex on Monday and then go to work on Tuesday and be fired because now they know you're gay and that's perfectly legal. Well, you know, this is an important uh, anniversary right now, uh, the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Uh, and as a first trans person to be elected in Colorado and the fourth person to be elected uh, in the country, uh, it's really important to be visible. And uh, that's what this particular march is all about. It's about more about visibility. We are still fighting, not only for our basic rights, but we want to challenge, we are doing our best to challenge the structures and the institutions that have actually continued to oppress us. This year is particularly uh, uh, good because for the first time we passed the Equality Act in the House of Representatives a couple of weeks ago. The first, ma the first uh, act that would declare a G LGBTQ people uh, equal in all ways, uh, to ban every form of discrimination. We passed it in the House and God willing in uh, January of 2021. Uh, we'll pass it in the Senate, and some somebody not named Donald Trump will sign it into law.